Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, now everybody calm down and grab some coffee or whatever you got to do. But we do have some information. Heidi is right. Once again, she is right on this one. Uh, she has been saying Zika is not what's causing the microcephaly. There has to be a different cause. And what really started immediately when the world was running crazy with, look, there's a Zika virus breaking out everywhere and it was microcephaly breaking out everywhere the Zika was. The immediate assumption was the Zika was spreading uh, among the people causing microcephaly or a major birth defect causing the smaller heads and brains of the, of the children. Also, 80% increase in miscarriages among pregnant women. But Heidi kept saying, it doesn't make sense. The, that doesn't equate. There's another reason. There's something else wrong. And she kept saying, there's something in the water, or it could be something in the water. All right, here's the, we just got a report. A report from Argentine doctors' organizations. The physicians in the crop sprayed towns. Listen to me again. Crop sprayed towns. Challenges the theory that the Zika virus epidemic in Brazil is the cause of the increase in the birth defect of microcephaly among newborns. Here's a statistic we found out two days ago. Of the 4,200 babies born in Brazil since October with microcephaly, only 17 of those mothers had Zika. So it's not the Zika spreading it. So that was one statistic came out two days ago that as Heidi was already from, from the get-go, Heidi kept saying, it's not Zika. It doesn't add up. Even Dr. Ben Carson said, he, it, doesn't, it can't be Zika. It has to be something else. All right, so we go on. The increase, though, in the birth defects in which the baby is born with an abnormally small head and often has brain damage was quickly linked to the Zika virus by the Brazilian Ministry of Health, according to the physicians in the crop sprayed towns. The ministry failed to recognize something, that in the area where most of the sick people live, a chemical, a larvicide called uh, priproxifen, a larvicide called priproxifen, this larvicide had been put in the water, introduced into the drinking water in 2014. This poison, priproxified, Priproxifen, excuse me, is used in a state controlled program aimed at eradicating the disease carrying mosquitoes. All right, so here's where your GMO mosquitoes come into play. The physicians added that the priproxifen is a manufactured chemical, a, a Japanese strategic partners of other groups. The priproxifen is a growth inhibitor of mosquito larvae, which alters the development process from larvae to pulpa to the adult, thus generating malformations and developing mosquitoes and killing or disabling them. So this, this poison, this larvicide was supposed to stop the mosquitoes from populating. It was to stop them from able to reproduce, thus if you slow down the, the numbers of mosquitoes, you slow down the spread of not only Zika, but of yellow fever and uh, dengue fever, which are horrible. Now, and they're a lot worse than Zika. But the, physician, the physicians added uh, that this larva, this poison, it acts as an insect juvenile hormone or juvenoid and has the effect of inhibiting the development of adult insect characteristics, for example, wings and mature external genitalia and reproductive development. So it is an endocrine, endocrine distributor uh, and is, uh, it causes, but it's supposed to cause birth defects among the mosquitoes, changing their hormone makeup and they, thus the mating process will, will drastically be reduced and the number of mosquitoes will be drastically reduced. That was the plan. But isn't it strange what's happened is the same effects almost that should have been in play is affecting the humans. 80% increase in miscarriages and an, 
unbelievable outbreak of microcephaly, a birth defect, okay? The physicians are commenting that the malformations detected in thousands of children from the pregnant women living in those very areas where the Brazilian state added the poison, the priproxifen, to the drinking water are not a coincidence, folks. This is probably the cause. The, even though the Ministry of Health places direct blame on the Zika virus, it's not the Zika virus. It's the poison they put in the water to kill off the mosquitoes or to create a genetically modified mosquito that would not be able to reproduce. Now they poured this poison into the drinking water of the very remote and poorest groups of populations in Brazil. Thus, microcephaly is exploded among those people that live in those areas. Um, so this, uh, th this is what's happened. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the link of this article, uh, because it's quite lengthy and I'm going to put the link of this article in the description. And I'm also going to include a second link, which actually gives you more detailed research data, which will help you even dig deeper into the story. But that is the, that's the scope of what we got here, guys. Uh, I have to say. Uh, it looks like Heidi and Dr. Ben Carson and probably many other physicians out there were right. It wasn't the Zika virus, although it's spreading. The real problem is what's in the water. And oh, by the way, they put this in the water in areas where if something does go wrong, it may not be as great an outcry. The We're living in the last days. Man is trying every way in the world to try all kinds of different things. And uh, it just seems like we're headed to the end. Diseases and plagues, we try to stop them, but they continue to spread in other ways. We're in the last days. Give your life to Jesus Christ. These are exactly some of the very things that would happen in the last days. Plagues or pestilences would spread among the people of the world. Are you saved?